All right, Shalom. Before I get started, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Makakadash. And the belongs to the apostles and elders that I learned the truth from. The men in GMS and the brethren with the like minded doctrine. It's the brother Bakala Awalam, who with another hopeful, edifying lesson to the elect body of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. See, um, in that clip, you know, that in the beginning, there was a clip that showed these women, um, you know, basically, you know, having judgment done unto them, you know, because, you know, in the time that we're reaching, it's going to be very um, troubling for these women, right, you know, and even now, just as those clips had revealed that, you know, even right now, it's still, it, it's, it's not safe, you know, and most definitely for, you know, the weaker, the weaker vessel, which, which is the female, the, the woman. But before I get that, you know, no matter how, um, how, um, um, harsh, um, word may seem but we have to bring it out you know because some of these topics are you know they're they not easy to discuss but we must bring them out you know what's that um all the council let's, uh, oh god i think that's how it was Yeah, this is um Acts twenty. Acts twenty and twenty six where we gonna start right. It says wherefore wherefore I take you to record this day that that I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have shunned to lock you for I have for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High, you know. So that's what we're doing. We're getting the blood off our hands. And no matter how harsh it may sound, um, we must, you know, declare all the counsel of the Most High, His prophecies. Which a prophecy is what? That these women are going to be troubled, right? Now we're going to get to that scripture, right? Um... This is um, Isaiah 32 and 9, right? It says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Get ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the ventures shall fail, and the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare, gird up sackcloth upon your loins. They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruit of the vine. Because this is going into, you know, the famine, but still, these women are going to be troubled out here, man. Like, during these times, you know, it's going into, you know, how these women, you know, that's that's um basically, you know, these dolled up, you know, they wanna, you know, look dolled up all the time. Um, always in the selfies, taking pictures and fine dining and club and all that's gonna be taken away, man, you know. Basically that's what it's talking about, but you know, they're gonna be troubled out here, you know. That's why, you know, for, um, in order to have a covering for you women, you need to get with a man of the Lord, you know, because only the only the Lord is going to protect this man, you know, because even a strong man is going to bow themselves, you know, the men that think they have it all figured out. If the Lord is not with you, you it don't matter how how prepared you think you may seem to be, 
all of all is all of his his vanity is is going to fail, you know, because look, this is the day of judgment. So basically, that's what it is. Rise up, you, ye women that are at ease, hear my voice, you careless daughters, get into my speech, you know, because um these women out here, they're gonna be in trouble, just like you see in those clips, right? I think I got another one. No, that might be it. No, I do have another one, so like it. Um, I utterly slay, right? Because this is what the Lord is um, proclaiming, you know, during the time of the Lord that we're coming into, which is um, the day of like none other, what you call Jacob's trouble. Which um this whole especially you know Babylon the Great the world at that it's gonna be in trouble man you know it's gonna be famine chaos you know and you women gonna be caught out there you know so that's why the scriptures say rise up you careless women you know we like we talking about the Israelite lady they it's the like the Israelite women you know you know you. you because, you know, this word is for you, which the Lord is going to bring judgment during this time, especially on his people, you know. So this is Ezekiel 9 and 4, it says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of it. Mr. of Salahia. So that's who he's going to protect his men. The men out here doing the work. The men that stuff, the, the, the elect men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh right? And hopefully, you know, the men that's doing this work, we are part of that elect because we don't know. You know, it's all the faith. That's all due to faith, right? So he's going to um, mark that mark is exempt. Is, that mark is a mark of exemption from judgment. So that's why. You know, the scripts is, is, is strongly, so, you know, that you women get with a man of the Lord. That's only how you're going to make it, you know, plain and simple, right? Verse 5, you know, you know the, the most I may have, um, you know, I, I can't say that for all cases, but, you know, you know, you know women, women, women and children will be, um, will be saved the, the unnumerable multitude but it's, it's highly suggested you know if, if you're if you're not um in this word it's highly suggested that you get with a man of the lord because he's only going to protect his his men you know so this is verse five and it says and the other he said in my in my hearing go ye after them through the city and smite let not your eyes spare Neither have ye pity, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. So that's what it is. And then they begin at the ancient men, which were before the house. So that's what these death angels, you know, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to send. During these times, Jake, what they call it, um, um, Daniel's the twelfth chapter, call it um, the day like none other, right? Let me see, Daniel's twelve and one. Yeah, let me just read it. Daniel's chapter twelve, verse one. It says, "And at that time shall Michael stand up." The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same time. You know, so this is the time of trouble. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that it everyone that shall be found written in the book of life in the book in that book is the book of life. <laughs> which is the Bible, you know. There's no other book. It's the Bible, right? So, um, the elect, basically, you know, 
So, um, you know, just like that clip just showed, you know, I'm gonna make this, I ain't gonna make this too long. You know, like these women's, one of them got killed, shot up, shot up. Two was like road rage. And one of them, it was somewhat of an accident, right? And it, basically it's an unsolved mystery, but you know, someone had, was involved with it because she was thrown over a, she was carried to a location and uh, then her body was found over um, um, over some type of uh, metal fence. So, of course, somebody did that to her. So that's what it is. It says, you know, it's going to be a lot of trouble out here for you women, especially the um, weaker vessel. It's going to be trouble out here regardless, but how much more for the weaker vessel? And you see in these, these clips that were just shown how it's already troubling for you women, you see? I'm not going to pray. I'm not going to play it to fast forward, you know. Which we must declare all the counsel of the Lord, you know. These are hard or harsh, to hard topics to speak on, but we must declare, you know, that these things are going to happen, you know. So, um. These are the judgment of the Lord. You know, this was a, a female that killed another female. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it all there because, you know, this is just a warning to you women out there, you know, because, of course, you know, a lot of kidnappings has been occurring, rapes, even in broad daylight, women being sexual assaulted, you know, kid, kidnapping attempts. So, um. Uh, um, you know robberies, so it's gonna it's gonna get it's it's, it's only gonna get worse. It's not gonna get better, you know. You know, cause we in the beginning of sorrows, right? So you know, this is just a warning. You know, cause we must declare we must get the blood off our hands, right? Just like I just read, right? Um, we are, we are now. I'm gonna go back to that. Um, the council of the Lord, right? Declare the council. All the counsel of the Most High, right? Just like you. Acts 20. Acts 20 and 26. It says, Wherefore I take you to record this day that I, that I am pure from the blood of all men. Why is that? Because he's declaring what the counsel of the Lord is, right? For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So that's what we're doing. So we can get the blood off our hands. We must give out the warning according to his word, according to his prophecy. So um, that's what he's doing. That's what the men of the Lord is doing. So like, yeah. And um, this is just um, a part of the prophecy, a part of the troubles. You know, what's to call the day of trouble? which is Jacob's trouble, you know, this, this is going to be all chaos, so I'm going to go ahead and end it off there, right, and I want to get this, this scripture also, you know, because this is the Lord doing, it says, um, evil in the city and the Lord have not done it, right, three and six Amos chapter three verse six it says shall a trumpet be blown in a city and the people be not afraid shall they be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it so this is judgment from the Lord you know the Lord had orchestrated all these hits on these people these women basically you know so the Lord do all these things man he kill and he make a he, he kill and he make a lie right so yeah I hope that um the lesson was edifying. So I'm gonna say call her like I'm like Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shah by Shim Kakadash. Shalom to the next time, Yahweh Rathaza, which means Lord Willing. And why Abba Babal DTA soon.